A bad moment, wasn't it? When art surrendered to geometry. <laughs> I am Vittoria Dulcibene. We live, you might say, in the next castle. You are in La Felicita, of course. Yes, I'm Molly Pargita. <laughs> and I've seen you out with the dog from La Felicita. Such a beautiful animal. He, he, he doesn't seem to live in our house anymore. Oh, you English find all dogs beautiful. For me, this Manrico is the most hideous brute. Our walk together are painfully boring. Anyway, he was dumped on me by your friend when he vanished. My friend? Your landlord. He promised he'll be back in a day or two, but he didn't keep his word. I assume you know Mr. Kettering. Oh, please. We've never met. Really? We, we corresponded, of course. I can't imagine what he's like. What picture have you formed of him already? Well, the house is anonymous. Those instructions. <laughs> and the books are so respectable and serious, all about painting or Tuscan architecture. There are no airport novels, no trash, no thrillers, except for Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> I must say, I keep looking for clues about Mr. Kettering. You see, he fascinates you too. And you haven't even met him. He has charm, of course. Believe me, Mr. Kettering is a bewitcher. Who else could persuade me to care for his revolting Manrico? A creature who consumes at least two sheep hearts a day. But are you comfortable at La Felicita? Of course, we have the wonderful Giovanna to help you. Is it true, do you think, about her parents? What about her parents? Well, collaborators. You are English, Mrs. Pardisher. I suggest you shouldn't use words you don't understand. I'm sorry. I don't suppose you ever killed a person in your life. <laughs> no. Don't apologize. Living in England, you would have no call to do so. I suppose not. And the English always look perfectly contented. So placid. Do we? We, usually, are in a mood of black despair. That's why we sing and shout funiculi, funicula, and all sorts of balderdash. All this laughing and shouting is to hide our deep pessimism. Kettering understood that. In many ways, he was typically Italian. Did you say was? We're going to eat. Why don't you both come out to the barbecue? That is an occupation entirely for the English. I will go to make myself an omelet. 